Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who knows the importance of moisturizing, Bill! Hi, everyone. That's right. I like to make sure my pores are nicely moistened. You don't want to end up looking like a ninja turtle. (laughs) Not one bit. Not these uh, turtles, anyways. So, we've been talking about these remastered turtles that we saw at some convention they there was a flyer for them right that was and a, we got a not perfectly crystal clear photo of them so we at sort the time of we were very going, excited well sure because yes. we had been we had been asking for such a product to exist right. and we're like hey you know mattel did it with he-man playmates get on get on the roll get on the ball here so mm-hmm. it, you know it seemed like our seemed like they were going to do it and they are doing it they're calling them remastered 1988 remastered um yes and we didn't know much more than that <laughs> no. so the powers that be aka pixel dan reached out <laughs> to playmates and was like excuse me sir <laughs> he's got their May number I on have- speed dial May I please have some more information on the Ninja Turtles, please, sir? You may know me from Masters of the Universe. I also enjoy turtles. Um, I am writing a physical book, just so you're aware. <laughs> I am I am an author. You may know me <laughs> from my book. I'm working on one for your Ninja Turtles. Um, that's not, That's not even what he sounds like. I don't know why. That's not right. He's, what he probably he... was like, all right, it's comparison time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, that's playmates. He, that's, it's that's me. He, yeah. It's how he probably called them. He's like, guess who it is, everybody? It's me. It's comparison time. Now, I know you're not used to hearing from me because I usually work with the other guys. But here's something you might not know about me. I love being a turtle. <laughs> I think, the, I think we nailed that. That's exactly what we he did. Sound like. Yeah, so, is. anyways, Pixel Dan reached out to playmates to be like, "Please give us some information." And he made a whole video, and in it, he hoped to had have he hoped to had heard back from playmates, and it did not happen. <laughs> but it was like a week after <laughs> this photo leak, and he's like, "I can't wait any longer. The world needs to hear my official take, my Pixel thoughts about these turtles." So oh. he he made that video, but. Since then, Playmates actually did send him the actual photo that was used in that advertisement. So we got to see the high-res version of the Turtles, the remastered Turtles. And the first thing that I think everybody noticed was how uh, holy they are. Yes, you're <laughs> might, might, mightily porous, very porous. They just, just, <laughs> and just like just seemed like kind of random just like dot here dot there like i don't know it doesn't it doesn't really resemble an actual texture it's just like right. when you're playing with play-doh and you're just like i just want lots of holes in here i don't know sure it's almost like playmates said to the said to their designers we like our original turtles but people uh-huh. really also like those movie turtles so how do yeah. we combine them both together right <laughs> And then terrify people, because it, cause it's like, I, I playmates just sort of miss the whole point of this. Like, yes. we don't want them to be more realistic, which this doesn't accomplish, anyways. Like, no, it this does does, not. turtles don't look like this is not what turtles look like. They don't right. have holes. They're very smooth. <laughs> they almost look like collections of rocks because they're like dinosaurs. Um, uh, but they're they're not they're, like a frog. Maybe would look like this, but not turtles. Um, but we don't want the toad. figures to look more realistic. We want the toys to be more articulate. We just yes. want those original toys exactly, but to be able to move them in fun poses. Like, right. That's what we wanted. We don't. We don't need that that bend in the knee that's pre-posed. We want to make it straight. right. We don't want them. We don't want them like as statues that you cut articulation into. We want these to have. We want basically what Mezco did. Like essentially, Mezco 
you know, they they really, in retrospect, people have like complete FOMO if they didn't get their hands on those because oh sure they just are able to be bows in so many ways. But we want those original turtles, those eighty eight turtles, the look of those, mm-hmm. the coloring of those, but but more articulate. So you think it's too late to stop this? I mean, if anything, they could just do them again. <laughs> He could just make them again. Better, people will buy them again. Next time. This is yeah. This is the Slimer it's a work in progress. 2. Looking at the look. What, yeah, what did you say? The what two point said the Slimer bucket two point Oh my god, that we, I still want to get to the bottom of that because the real one, like the one that was advertised, never came out. Correct. Right. Yeah. So that doesn't even exist. I don't know. Like where they save it. Like where that picture come from? Why does that even? <laughs> why does that photo exist? AI generated. It's it prob- like, sh- honestly show me probably- show me the Cinemark yeah. the Cinemark Slimer popcorn bucket without the popcorn yeah. bucket, and then yeah. there it is. There it is. If you look at the um, the bases on these two, each base has like one slice of pepperoni pizza sculpted into it in the exact oh. same spot. <laughs> Like, I guess they maybe they reuse. Yeah, that's. I think that's probably what it is. They reused like the base, and then they added little bibs and bobs to make it uh, seem like a different display so base. The, but it's, is the slice just on the ground? It's on the ground. Yeah. What are they saying the turtles like eat pizza off the ground for? Come on. It's and then there's like little that. a red and blue wire, and a little like the front has this little copper wire thing. Where, like, so they're like the bases are exactly the same, but they added little extra things. I don't yeah. care about the bases. I don't want the bases. I want the turtles. And I want them to look like... And then the other thing is, what is the packaging going to look like? This base is probably going to like be totally distracting. Because I, I... I Maybe I... Maybe other people disagree. But I want this to look like the original packaging. But update yeah. the drawings or something? Like, I don't know. I don't want it to be like all new packaging. Like, that, there's no fun in that. It's just going to come in a box... It's gonna be like oh, it's those. Got a box. What, no. what was that series? That Star Wars series. Remember that Star Wars series where they were all pre-posed. It was like an anniversary set. It was like a twentieth anniversary set where they had, they had, two figures in like a dynamic pose, Han and Chewbacca. Oh, yes. And they had Leia and Luke doing the yeah. doing the grappling. Those right. maybe they'll do yeah. it like that in a box. Mm-hmm. But, well, I don't, I don't want know. that either. No, so, I get rid of the I, stand. Give me the sprue. I just, I just, yeah, give me this. Exactly. See, here's where Super 7, honestly, had a better handle on what collectors want. They just, they didn't want to put enough articulation in it because we know that Brian doesn't like that. He wants things to look like their original counterparts. And we'll, yeah. we're going to talk a lot more about Brian a little later, but Ooh. let's finish up talking about these guys. Um. Yeah. So we we still we know we know the price and the price is twelve ninety nine. Great, very sure. very affordable. We shouldn't be the, angry at that. But nobody's angry. That's great. That's probably the best news we've heard about these. Yeah. They are a Walmart exclusive, however. So that's okay. a little troubling. But if it's only these four figures and it's turtles, hopefully they're gonna have a bunch of them. If you if you want them, if you still want them after all this. Right. Uh, everyone's oh, going to turtles are so popular right now. It's it's going yeah. to It's just people are going to be like I'm going to miss out. It's like you said, it's going to be like that Mezco turtle thing. You just feel like I'm going to miss out. Hopefully they'll make more. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and then those ankles, the way they're cut. It just looks like that looks just like I pre- I wish they didn't even put it in if that's how it was going to look because it just it looks gross. It doesn't look right. Yeah. So, these are these are kind of half-assed. I mean, you know, you got some like the the arms are pretty well articulated. They do, they I guess the the elbow will swivel in addition to having like the lateral bend because they don't mm-hmm. have shoulder balls, so they can't like move the mm-hmm. bicep that way. So hopefully, you can still get. Although I don't see anybody actually doing that, so I don't know. Again, just... basically, you could just take like the mutant mayhem figures and throw those classic heads on there and you'd have almost the equivalent of this because those are just the same bodies or like not the same bodies but the same like design just have some fun with the the super seven turtles you know they're plussed up but you know what they're fun you can 
Yeah. Well, I mean, they're can. a lot of money. I think that was probably more than anything. Oh, that is the, I mean, you can get, you can get all four of the remastered turtles for one original price of the super seven turtles. Gotcha. Although those have been, I think at this point, all four turtles have been under 30 at some point somewhere. Right. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta do your homework. You gotta keep your eye out. Follow Toy Sailboat on Facebook. I'll let you know when things are cheaper on uh, Amazon and Entertainment Earth, at least. So, yeah, we don't know anymore. We'll update you when we find out. We talked about Brian. Should we just get into the Super 7 stuff? Yeah, why the heck not? It's big It's big enough news. It was early news last week, but it's still big. It's still, it's not, you okay. know. So let's let's preface this. Let's put the disclaimer out, disclaimer out. This is not news. This is rumor. Okay. Uh, unsubstantiated. Mm, there's always by, a little truth to some rumors. Well, okay. But it's from an anonymous poster on Reddit. So right off the bat, oh. nobody's like putting their name to this. <laughs> they just want this information out there. But let's let's take a look at the facts that we do know. Super 7 did get a big influx of cash from third party. Okay. Was Super that 7, ever is that ever disclosed as to who? Who the who the party is? Yeah, that I money think is. I, I don't. I don't have that information on off the top of my head, but oh. I do believe. I don't think it's secret. I don't think you're allowed it's to do secret. that. <laughs> we just got some some dark money, and now we're making toys. Yeah. No. Oh. Another company gave them gave them a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay. Um, we do know that Super Seven is not making Disney product anymore after they could not come to terms. Um, people were sort of splitting hairs on whether or not that license expired or was terminated and i don't know if it if it like was for a certain amount of time and that time just eclipsed or if it was ended early by one party or the other i don't know that i don't know that but the fact that it was not renewed at the very least is still not great because we know that there was another set of the simpsons planned and it's not happening now. So it's not like they're like, well, we made everything we wanted to. No, they wanted to make more Super 7 did. So that's not how did. So the story that we heard is that Brian, founder of this company, Super 7, will no longer have final say on what the products look like, per se. So, let's let's dig into this a little bit. Four series of The Simpsons, zero versions of the main characters in their normal clothing. This right. was a Brian call. For whatever reason, he wanted it to be this way. I think nine. If you if you ask ten people that know about this, if that was a good idea, nine of them will say no. It was a bad idea. Yeah. So. The theory is now that there will be someone else to be like, well, hold up. Maybe we should throw a Homer in there. Maybe we should throw a Bart in their normal clothing. And maybe mm -hmm. that's what we want. Maybe we want some double, uh, double jointed elbows on our Ninja Turtles. Maybe, maybe, maybe the 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 advancement of toy technology has come far enough that we should start including that in our product because other companies are doing it. Brian likes to keep that aesthetic as, as clean and as as uh, similar to the original toys as, pos as possible. So we weren't seeing a lot of that, but maybe according to this uh, anonymous Reddit poster, we'll start seeing that. The G.I. Joe figures are an interesting case because this week, this is, this is actual news. The series, what series was it? Six, which was a set of repaints of all of the existing female characters was canceled because it did not receive enough pre-orders. That's that is fact. That is that actually happened. Did you ever end up getting any of the the GI Joe from Super Seven? No, because they're not in yeah. scale with the classified items. Right. So no, they're so their point own thing. to it. Yeah. 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 They're more cartoon based. You know, based off of the animation. Well, right. Exactly. They are based off the show. So, yeah. I. I I don't know how those have sold. I feel like th those are probably at the bottom of the totem pole. They seem to have the most QC issues. They do. And something that this 
this poster on Reddit was saying was the lines that do that sell the worst end up at the worst factories. <laughs> so oh. you want to save like you. There's only so much output you can get from a factory. So you you know which factories are going to do the best job. So you send yeah. your your top performing lines there, like your turtles. And I mean, you know, Simpsons we didn't think did too well, but this the last two sets have been amazing in terms of the quality of the figures. So maybe those ended up there too. So you go to the bad factory. That just sounds funny. It really, the does. Joes go to the bad. <laughs> they gotta go to the bad factory. Yeah, there's only oh. you know. Somebody's got to so go to the bad factory. Who do you want? So who do you want to send the there? Indiana Jones stuff back in, during the Crystal Skull days. It's like, That's oh. right, those those egg eyes, yeah, the egg eyes. Yes, you got egg eyes. Don't don't look into the sun, people. You'll get egg eyes. Real oh quick. my god. Ugh. I'm I'm concerned about us in the sun, but we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> you spend so, a lot of time in the sun. You're okay. I mean. This is I I li- I live in the sun and I literally yes. live in the sunshine state. So yeah, they're sending the kids okay. home early. Let's let, let's, really? finish up with the, let's finish what? up with the Brian. Let's finish Fine. up with this first before we get too more. off topic. Um, yeah. So we don't. There's no official word. There won't be. Brian's not going to make a post that says like, yeah, <laughs> they don't like what I'm doing with my company. So I have to take a step back. We're not going to hear that. It'll be interesting to see if anything is very obviously different. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, hopefully, I mean, we've always talked about the weird decisions that he was making oh, because yes. it was the way that he wanted them to be, not necessarily what the, you know, general populace wanted, the majority wanted. It seems so, like every line had some questionable direction to it. Right. And then other people were saying that he didn't even care at the end of the day he was he was somebody you know quoted him as saying that no one else is making this so people are going to buy it regardless yeah and you know again we can't confirm this but that's just what the sort of information that is being put out there and that's not good so i i feel like maybe he should refute that (laughs) because you don't want people thinking that that's true if it's not so, Brian, if you would like to come on uh, Reluctant Adult Conversations and, uh, oh. you know, settle this, maybe we can ha- we can get the uh, the Reddit shit poster to come on, too. We can have a debate. But, obviously, I love Super 7 because I love these Simpsons figures. But now they don't make them, so I guess I don't love <laughs> Super 7. Uh, <laughs> you took away the one thing I love. Past appreciation of them. I don't really care about the other stuff you make now at this point. Maybe if you do off as ultimates, but so yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. I only have, if you're a fan of the office, you might understand this. And if you're not, you're going to think I sound crazy, but I would just like to tell the world to please shut up about the sun. Shut up about the sun. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you remember when Gabe says that to Andy? Yeah. You know, Gabe, yeah, okay. Gabe was never my favorite. I, I, Oh no. Did not like I, Gabe. W- I Didn't love like Gabe the and I of Gabe. Oh, see, oh. I disagree 100%. Gabe is a great character and then that actor went on to Silicon Valley to be yeah. another, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but another great character and he hasn't done a lot since or at least things yeah. that I've watched, but I love that actor at least for those two roles. Oh. Yeah. All right, so the sun. There's going to the be an sun. eclipse. Yes, there is. People are like the way they're talking. It's like this is the first time this happened in a hundred years. Get like, your glasses remember, if you can, people. I remember a former president looking up at the sun, and we're like, we knew he would, and he's doing it. Like it wasn't <laughs> right. that long ago yes, that this happened. He's, uh, you're too powerful for the sun. The sun's gonna st- shy away from him. That's right. <laughs> we're, we, we all revolve around him. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I said that they they're sending the kids home early from school. It's it's not. They, they're they not sending them home. They're not being mandated to leave, but they are being allowed to be picked up early if the parents oh, that's wish interesting. to. And my, my wife has opted into that. So she's yeah. going to pick because she doesn't trust our son to not look straight up in that's the That's hilarious. Sky. My, <laughs> all right, so we got the exact opposite going on. We sent our kid permission slip back because they're having a solar eclipse event out Ooh. in the field where they're encouraged to stare at the sun. But they have proper eye protection. They do. So the whole okay. school has been the whole school is gracious and donated 
protective eyewear to all the students. What does that look like? Does it look like those 3D glasses that you just had on? Yes, it does. It's just a piece of cardboard. And you can just look with... straight? You can just look straight I, at the sun with those things? I, I tried it today. It was great. It was just looking at like, a, it was like looking at the moon. But, but I don't... Also, why is this something we need? Why would we even want to look at this? Why is this a problem? Because it is such an event. Because... But what are you going to see? You're just going to see it black with a slight ring around it? No, just that's watch like heroes. the whole thing. Just watch the open to heroes. It's like watching it through your phone. That's what everyone who's sunphobic is encouraging people to do. Sunphobic, Lord. <laughs> no, it's a big thing up here in the Northeast. Um, north of me, at least, there's like several places that are getting like 100% totality. My sister's actually going up to Maine to see it because it's one of the areas where... Um, wild. It's guaranteed for 100% totality. I got my glasses like a month and a half ago because people were like, you better get them now because the closer you get, the harder these things are going to get to find. And sure Where'd enough, get them? Fa- I, I got box? mine on Amazon. No, Amazon. Yeah, I, pump, oh I, pumped, I pumped them out. I pumped, yeah, popped yeah, them out of my cereal <laughs> box. It just has like a pinhole. Yeah. That's uh, how they did it back in the day. Oh, right, they, right. They put a, do you remember they making put those? a cardboard box on their head and they looked at yes. it. That's how they would do it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. No. But yeah, no, everybody on the Facebook, the local Facebook pages are like, where can I find them? And everyone's like, they're gone. They're all gone. You can't find them. Oh, God, it's not, if it's not masks or toilet paper. No. So now it's, now I'm seeing too <laughs> much. Glasses. I was on TikTok too long. Now I'm just seeing all sorts of stuff about crazy eclipse theories and the rapture mm. and everything else like that. The end of days. Oh my god! If they, if seriously, like, if you, if it's gonna end, just end. All right, I'm so sick of right. this. Ever the Mayans are like, it's ending now. It's like, well, it didn't end. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. The whole I'm John watch- Cusack movie about that, and it didn't end. I'm watching Three Body Problem, and it's all about this other world that's ending. So they're coming here. And oh. It's all about the the, the, the Three Body Problem. If you have, if you haven't watched this yet, the, the chances that you've watched it are pretty good. It's very popular on Netflix. Three planet or three suns, I think, celestial bodies, when they get close enough to each other, the planet can sort of ping pong between them, get pulled in from their gravitational field. And then the, the, the suns can align so it gets too hot, everything burns up. Like this is this is this is like a tech this is the technical term, three body problems where you <laughs> I'm losing you. <laughs> you don't it's not, the the show is not very. I mean, it is sciency, and the scientists are play a big part of it. But it's about aliens, so you don't even like Star Trek. How can you like this? What I do wonder. I say this. I like. I wonder if I watched it. If I would like Star Trek, but it just seems so boring to me. I don't so think you would at this point. Ch- I don't. I don't think you no. would at this point. I. You know what? I did go to see one of the movies in theaters. And I literally fell asleep during it. Oh. So I tried. <laughs> You tried. I tried. You it did not, not for me. Not for me. So that's a big event that's happening this week. A big event that happened last week was April Fools. And oh. I feel like everybody participated this year. Unlike, oh, we had fun. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the oh, last I... few years, people have not really been partaking just because. Right. I don't. I don't think that like collectively we could handle it. But this year, that's true. Like, yeah, <laughs> I get, agree with you one hundred percent. They were like, yeah. just so you're aware, there will be no right. fooling about on this first yeah. day of April. Yeah, uh, <laughs> from <laughs> several <laughs> companies, they're like, no, everything's too dark. We don't need any any lightheartedness right now. But yes, well, you're right. It's like, this year, we people were just willing, like, because of so much crazy shit was happening. People were like. Yeah, that's probably true. They probably are. That's probably happening. And they're like, that's it. I'll see it. See you on the other side. You know, straw that broke the camel's back. Didn't want to be uh-huh. responsible. Like, it's like Pop Tarts didn't want to be responsible for like people offing themselves because they were going to make Pop Tarts bacon Pop Tarts or something. They, you know what? They already shocked the world by devouring that, that Pop Tart mascot. I'm surprised right? they didn't try to capitalize on that. I wonder if they're waiting for the next moment, but I feel like that they, that should have been like an ongoing thing. I'm sure, because that was a big deal, and we all appreciated it too. We all, nobody was like, "That's we disgusting." Had... We were like, "I wonder what he tastes like." Ooh. <laughs> I wonder if he if he is different than the normal strawberry pop tart. So, anyways, fair enough. Uh, it, 
April 1st occurred this past week, week, and there were a bunch of, at least on the toy boards, and then, like, yeah. the general, like, nerddom, <laughs> sanctum. Right. Like, somebody had pictures of X-Men on the set, and obviously that's not happening yet, so we didn't have that. Um, our, our friends from Tubbs, the Rubber Duckies, they introduced a Tubbs duck made of cake. Which is not real, okay. but it looked delicious. I actually was like, "This would be a, this would be a fun product." People like things made of cake. You could just make it out of vinyl and make it look like the inside is cake. That's true. Um, Neca, Neca, they they actually got me because they had two things, and one of them actually, I'm still not sure if it's real, but I think it is real because you can order it. But the first yeah, thing okay, they, they had, they got a whole page for that thing. The first, I mean, yeah, but they could just make that. But the first thing they had was they were going to do was this a life-size version or just a, a line of collectibles based on small wonder oh okay see i had to look up what small wonder was because i wasn't oh you never aware. watched that i never I watched small, small wonder. wonder oh that was okay. a great show okay that was a great show about this so they so had a, a robot there was a family and they had a robot but she was a little girl yeah, <laughs> you know, it was kind of like it was kind of like Family Matters, and instead of Urkel, it was just a robot little girl. It was kind of mm-hmm. like Elf. I almost feel like the dad was the same actor. I'm not sure if that's true, oh. but just like that time, you know, they were always like thrown in one weird character into the family dynamic. So that's what yeah, like, Small Wonder was. I had a great theme song. It's a small wonder. Do do wow. do 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 do. do. So that that was not real. The song. That okay, was not that real. That wasn't real. That's but fun. NECA also announced a life-size Mathrigan from the movie Mathrigan. Right. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And everybody in the post was like, okay, great. <laughs> but no. I sent it to you and I was duped, but then I was like, wait a minute. You were like, yeah, April Fools, and I was like, no. You sent it to me. I'd forgotten. You sent it to me being like, this is crazy. And I was like, yeah. oh, sweet summer child. Like, this is not right. real. Right. But we now, I think it is real. I think for $500 or more, $5,000, how much is it? I believe it's $500. Yeah, it's four ninety nine. I mean, that for doesn't seem like enough price. to have a life-size anything. Is it made out of it's like... It's a mannequin. It's a mannequin. Like, you know. I know, but still, mannequin. like, how much does a mannequin cost? Like 99 bucks. Really? That seems like a good deal. Oh, yeah. But it looks terrible, right? Like, this face it looks terrible. It doesn't look like the actress. It looks like someone else. I don't even know. That's why I'm like, I still don't believe this is happening. And also, so what, are they just I feel like if you order now? this, I feel like if you order this, you're going to end up in a list somewhere. Like, what are you going to do with this? What are you doing with your life-size girl doll? Yeah. It's not like it's a Halloween prop where it, like, you know, scares, like, spooks you or right. something. It's, it's, right. it's, it's not a like a life-size of a little girl. Chucky doll. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's right. not your Chucky what doll. What are you doing? People aren't going to know you doing what this here? is. No one's going to be like, oh, is that Mithrigan? Like, no. They're going to be like, you have this, this little girl doll. That's weird. Don't like that. Did, did your kids do any pranks, like, above, no, they were like, unaware. just like... Oh, okay. So my, my daughter was very much aware and oh, actually good. started... This is a good one. She started to lose her voice a little bit for some reason, so she started talking a little raspy. Rad Rob. So we're, we're driving home, and I'm like, how should we trick mom? And... She goes, well, I don't know. And I go, let's do something with your voice. And I go, let's say one of your classmates karate chopped you in the throat. Lord. Because mom's <laughs> going to ask. Mom's going to ask. I guess. What happened to your voice? And <laughs> sure enough, my daughter starts talking. Mm-hmm. My wife goes, what's wrong with your voice? <laughs> and I go, yeah, tell, tell, tell mom what happened. Yeah. And like my daughter was like, I- I'm glad she didn't say anything because she would have been like, she would have like cracked up like as a joke and i go so and so karate chopped her in the neck in the during neck. recess oh, and no. my wife's like oh my god yeah did 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 anyone know? how did you know did you get a phone call how come yeah. we're just hearing about this how come <laughs> how come did she know did you let on ever no we didn't we let it go on for like 30 seconds and then we're like april fools Ha ha! You stupid you mom, con- April Fools! You were concerned about the well-being of your child, and now you look <laughs> foolish. <laughs> How dare you? 
yes, that was good fun. times. Good times. That was fun. All right. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk about the big event this weekend, WrestleMania. It's the Super Bowl of wrestling, or the the Super Bowl is the WrestleMania of football, as some would say. But this weekend, it has become a two-night event. Tonight, Saturday, the first night, uh, the main event, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins versus Roman Reigns and The Rock in a tag team match. And then that match has ramifications for tomorrow night's uh, world or universal, whatever they're calling the title now, uh, between Cody and Roman. Will Cody finish the story? God, I hope so. God, man, if he doesn't, ah, that's going to be a rough. I remember last year when he lost and it was like, oh, I don't know if that was the right call, but we made it. We made it a whole nother year and we're here. We're talking about wrestling. Uh it was a big to do. If you are involved in wrestling at all, you were probably in Philadelphia this week. We had lots of reveals. All the millions of companies making retro wrestling figures were there, showing off their prototypes. Mattel was there. I think their event, their like actual event, where they're gonna have like the uh, you know the slides, the PowerPoint slides that people can't seem to figure out how to take a photo of. Those will be that's yeah. Sunday, but they showed off stuff starting on Thursday. <laughs> the most to me the most interesting thing that they showed was this series of ninja turtle inspired elite figures so these are made using the elite bodies so it's not like these are for kids necessarily and they they picked four wrestlers to to represent the four ninja turtles so they picked Cody Rhodes no so they picked Kofi Kingston, uh, Austin Creed, or what's his wrestling name? Xavier Woods. They they picked those are two. I think Michelangelo and Donatello. Rey Mysterio is Raphael, and then Seth freaking Rollins is Leonardo. So you got to kind of see these to know what's going on. It's not like they're it's not like they're dressed. I mean, they're like wearing gear inspired by the colors of the the turtles i guess it's it's very Mm. like i don't know it's a very just interesting and it's not like these are these are like fantasy figures these are happening these are coming to target this summer so target was like yeah this sounds like a great idea um but they're doing more than just the turtles they're also doing Roman Reigns as Shredder, I guess. He's got, like, some big spiky shoulder pads, but it's not like he has oh. a helmet or anything. And then Cody Rhodes as Casey Jones. So he's got the hockey mask, and it's painted up with his, like, American Nightmare colors and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> wow. We, as a as a not wrestling collector, but as a turtle collector, what do you think about these? I'm about as excited for these as I was when they were dressed up like the Ghostbusters a couple of years ago. So not the, excited the, at all. The wrestlers or the turtles? The wrestlers. Mm, okay. But these are turtles. Yeah. You like I turtles. Don't give a oh, shit. but you like Ghostbusters too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it it, it That's is my you know, Im- impassioned speech. I don't care. <laughs> they It's my money so going back me. in my wallet. <laughs> you save save some bucks there. I wonder how much they're going to cost because at least cost like bucks. twenty five. Ugh. I don't know. We'll see how these do. But Playmates did Ninja Turtles dressed as wrestlers. They yeah. did a few series, at least two. And those were sort of like the time where it's like, what is the point? Like these just exist in their own world. It's, it was very strange. So at least these are like your standard wrestling figure and they're just wearing wrestling gear that kind of looks like it looks like something you would create in the video game yeah like that's exactly like i almost wonder if that's how they design them i mean you were talking i just you sent me a photo and i was like let's get those let's get those turtle shells on them from the oh that's right jiu-jitsu figures so again we are always like right right there with with decisions being made in toys because last week I showed off my CM Punk wearing his Gujitsu turtle shell. And then the right. very next week, what do we see? An official wrestling turtle figures. So we are always, we were right there. There was something else that happened recently. Oh, we were talking about the, the party wagon. And people right. were like, hey, you were just talking about this. Oh, and we were talking about the dinosaur figures from NECA. And then people were like, hey, you were just talking about this. 
It's like, yeah. What will we talk about next? What you you, you it's, really got to tune in every it's week to see be ultimate ultimate office figures. That's that's where we're going. You know this. what? Yeah, that, that's gonna be. be Super Seven saving grace. Is that it's gonna yeah. be ultimate office figures? And they're just gonna do generic versions of Michael, Jim, and Dwight. They, they've got to do it, and that's it. And then maybe they'll come yeah. with enough accessories to make it into like a secondary figure. Um, get because th- get those out first, and then yeah. you win me over, and then yeah, I'll start. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll start getting some variants. Maybe <laughs> Super Seven has it all backwards. Okay. It's like they do the convention Business exclusive. Suit, that's like the normal figure. Right. It's like no, the convention exclusive is supposed to be the one that's a deep cut that the fans yeah. really want, not that the general public would care about. And they're gonna they're gonna give me. So Toby there was, missing his head from the Michael Scarn movie. That's what I get. <laughs> no, Toby. Yeah. They did that as a get. reaction figure. Yeah. They did. Yeah. Yeah. I know. The reaction. Again, those reactions. They can pump those out like nothing. Yeah. Holy shit. What the fuck? It's the earthquake. Oh, the earthquake. Did you feel that? Did that affect you? Yeah. It. You know, we felt an aftershock. I personally uh-huh. did not, but other people around me did. So I guess I'm just earthquake proof. I don't know. Um, wow. Okay. But looking around the collection room, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. So everything stayed That's upright. Good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had something to fall over behind me. One of that that like figure right there. I don't know how that happened. We I didn't Ooh. feel an earthquake. Didn't didn't. I think that would probably be the end of Florida if we started having earthquakes. Yeah, you just sink the into the ocean. Would rise up. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't take much. It wouldn't take much. No. So the big news this week that got everyone upset. <laughs> there's always some there's always some news that makes people mad. And this week it yeah. was that that Marvel has cast another character in their Fantastic Four movie, and it is the Silver Surfer. And the Silver Surfer is cast as a woman. What? Now this this isn't like new news. This is like it has been rumored prior to this Mm -hmm. that you know there had been some information leaked here and there that we would be seeing a female version of the silver surfer before we saw saw the the male version of silver surfer (laughs) the the good version we don't want to jump right into like the one that people want like we're gonna give you this we'll give you a taste because it's like we're not really sure what this is gonna look like on film the silver person so we don't want we don't want to fuck it up if this is what we're going good idea already what the silver person looks like on film it's already happened once well i know but that was many years ago and that was different it was was a different time maybe marvel's gonna do it maybe marvel's gonna do it in practical and they're just gonna paint her up (laughs) i sent you that i sent you that video the other day of Mm -hmm. All the cosplayers in their X Men attire, and and you know what? Bless them. They they, they do great. They look they look fantastic for Bless what they hearts. are. But I feel like <laughs> having are, seen yeah. and we 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 went back to this last week, watching X Men ninety seven, yeah, and seeing it animated and seeing you know what we would expect, and then mm-hmm. to take that and put it into a reality based thing with live action, it would just yeah. look it look it would look hokey. It would look fake. There's just no way to do it. We're just no. our, we are not open. My brain's enough. not ready for it. It's just we're not willing to t- accept that because we don't. Yeah. We, if we see people like this is the best example we have. Yeah. We see people in cosplay. There's not like oh, if the military made these outfits, they would look better. No, right. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get, and it still just looks like people running around pretending to be superheroes. So it's not ever gonna yes. work. So I think I can appreciate sooner... those early X Men movie costumes because those were at least no oh, the leather yeah the leather right. I appreciate they were afraid and they've yes. gotten we need to we need to make Hollywood afraid again we can't have these these costumes that look too much like the comic it's just it's taken me out of it it's not working it has and it's so much so that a lot of shows jokingly put them in like the um, yeah. What is it? The WandaVision had had the oh right comic they were versions as Halloween costumes, they were and they were like Halloween costumes. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I know it looks bad. So yeah, so Julia Garner, we know her as Ruth 
from uh, Ozarks. We know her from and then, that. And the Nespresso spokesman, spokesperson now. Oh, is that true? Yeah, she's she's. Where do you uh, even see commercials for Nespresso? YouTube. YouTube. We'll put an ad in here and there. Gotta get those yeah. ad blockers. Can't can't do it. Oh, that. that'd be nice. But then, how will I know that she's a spokesperson for Nespresso? You'll listen to this podcast, and you, that's you, right. The alternate version. I'm just doing you. the research here. It's just one more talking point about this. There's something He's else she was in through recently ads. on Netflix. The assistant is that it? She had that like an sounds accent. accurate. Yeah. Okay. Like she had so an she... accent in the last thing she was in too. Yeah. Did she make it through an Ozark? I didn't finish it because. No, she didn't. She got real oh, close no. though. Only the family makes it out. Oh That's no, kind kidding! Of the, that was kind of the point of the show, where it's like the rich, privileged, privileged white family ends up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> everybody yeah. else dies. Well, now. If you just told me, yeah, I would have been like, oh, okay, but yeah, okay. Mm. I mean, she had to die. There's no version of that world now. where she survived. Like, what would she be doing? I what would she do? What was she going to do? Was she going to leave the Ozarks? She's going to survive in the Ozarks? No, she had to go. That was how it Oh, now I'll have to that watch the rest down. of this. It was very Son good. Of a gun. It was a very good show. Ozarks. Very good. It I hope was I, decent. I hope I didn't ruin it for anybody. You got to check it out, even if you know that. The family's okay. Everyone else dies. Spoiler alert. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Um. So along with there being Silver Surfer, obviously that sort of he, Silver Surfer goes hand in hand with Galactus. So then that yes. rumor sort of started to swirl this week that Galactus was going to be the the villain. But then they're talking about this being an alternate universe, not the six one six. But then they're saying like maybe they'll destroy six one six, and then that that allows oh. them to restart like all the characters, like Iron Man and Captain oh, America, my. go back to like being alive. And I'm just like, uh, well, I don't know. Wait, does this no know. longer take place in the '60s either? Was that something I saw too? No, I think that probably is correct because that of is confirmed. The magazine. Oh. I'm, it's not, nothing is yeah. confirmed. This could all be fake. So we haven't actually the seen them in cost. Like we saw a drawing of them. It's like this is gonna all yeah. be an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Who oh knows? Goodness. But this this I feel like is is gonna reset everything, and it's either gonna be good or it's gonna be bad, and then we don't have to think about it anymore because it's all gonna go up in flames. So and we'll have the DC universe. I'm sure that'll be great. Can't wait to see another oh. Superman movie. If there's one thing I love. It's a good at least Superman movie. 90. Yeah, at least X Men ninety seven's renewed for a second season. Just at least I think it's well, that. no, second season's done. Third season oh, it's is done. It got renewed. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. So Never we, mind. What did you think about this week's episode? That, for the first time, this is only episode four, right? Right. So like a little bit of a side adventure. Got to gave the spotlight so, to Jubilee. It was a split episode. So we yeah, got... but I feel like the stuff with with Storm was very quick at the end. It was. It was. And Forge. We found out Forge is not super great. No. I don't think but he ever was what did you think about super it? Great. What was that? I, I I said I don't think he was ever super great. But no, I yeah. appreciated I appreciated the mojo stuff. I liked how I liked how he was drawing his energy from people's viewing and like viewership was yeah. down in like yeah. the T V realm, so he was investing in video games. Right. To do that. Did he always like sound works. like that? That is not how uh, I envisioned him sounding. And I think it was a little bit of a tweak. Okay. Because I was like, in this, the is voice. Not, this is not what I thought this dude would sound like. It's a little bit more animated, in my opinion. But a, like, nice... a lot of fun seeing the video game cutscenes, right. the, right. the 16-bit stuff, the arcade cabinet stuff. That was great. Yep. Yeah. That was a fun episode. Some nice Easter eggs. I'm just looking at this collider article the um what's the other group with havoc x like x factor x factor yeah x factor multiple man i don't know that big guy yeah. what's the big guy's name the little swirl strong guy strong <laughs> wolf spain <laughs> you know so we know some of the upcoming marvel legends figures and they do sort of correspond, even though they're not X Men ninety seven figures. I think Wolf Spain is one of the characters, and then mm-hmm. what's the guy with the 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 lion or whatever? Is, what's his name? Zazar, Kazar, Kazar. Is that it? Kazar. I don't know. Yeah, but it, that's like from that Savage Land arc, right? Where Magneto and Rogue get get it on. 
So oh. we've sort of seen the inklings of that. So who's to say what, what we're going to see from uh, future episodes. Mm-hmm. But even though this didn't really have the punch of the previous episodes, you need one like this to kind of like give it a breather. Like it can't all be like super dramatic. No, no, this was and a I lot. This I was mean, fun. this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of it fun. Was, it was a lot of fun. Going back, going back to, again, all like the X-Men centric media that we had back yeah. in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And like what we were drawing from as as youth to like as enjoy. Youth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Back in my day. Was back in my day. So that was fun. Looking forward to uh It's nice. I don't know how many episodes. Do we know the the season count? Is it like eleven? I think it's ten. I think it's ten. ten. So we have six yeah. more to go. So another month and a half of episodes. That's nice. I like it's it. It's exciting. And then we'll see how quickly they turn on season two. Mm-hmm. I picked Probably. up the Goblin Queen figure. I found it at oh, Target. Oh, you found it? Nice. Yeah. yeah. I said, I need to get this, at least for the baby. The baby, which that sculpt, this is like the third iteration of that sculpt. Oh, no kidding. Oh, man, I feel duped. <laughs> there was one that came with... Oh, originally, I think it came with Mystique, the VHS Mystique. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nope. That's Now that's ringing a bell. Yeah. And it was Baby um, Nightcrawler. Oh no, it's oh. slightly different. The head is okay. different, so maybe the just the blanket is reused because yeah. it's got like a pacifier, and it uh, is right. clearly supposed to be a nightcrawler. I have it in the trunk of my car. We went to Home Depot today to do the uh, the kids craft that we do the first of every month. So oh, yeah, I pop the trunk, yeah. pop the trunk, and my wife my wife's back there with me, and she goes, "Oh look, you have an X Men baby," and I'm like, oh, look. "Get out of here, wife! Get out of here!" Stop peeking in my places, woman. Get out of here. You're going to wind up in the trunk. Oh, you don't want to know my <laughs> secrets. Don't look too deep. You might be afraid of what you find. Oh. No. Yeah, I got Cyclops and Jean Grey. Someone was pointing out that Jean Grey doesn't have ab crunch, which I didn't even notice. And I don't think that I care or want. I don't care. I mean, she just I know, had a I don't... baby. How is she supposed to have ab crunch? Right, it's it's just ac- it's just accurate to the media. She would not be bending yes. at the waist or at the below the pectoral. I don't even know like how <laughs> you an- anatomically would illustrate she can't that. Do it. But She'd be happy she can't she do got it. into the costume in the first place. I know, right? Really, well, the, she's the cl- well. Okay, so in the they keep changing the opening of the show, yeah, adding in like the creature of the week, but also they changed her hairstyle, Jean Grey's hairstyle. So it's like the clone was in the first three episodes. Oh, with and the hair down? The, or that, the hair yeah, up. exactly. Yeah, now the hair's oh, up. Oh, interesting. The I didn't see that. That little yeah. bit. That's interesting. Right? Okay. So wow. the real Jean didn't have a baby. So she has no excuse. Right. Yeah. No. But she's out. So that's, she's. I think uh, the big thing is there's going to be a big event in Genosha for yes. the series because... Mm-hmm. It's Those joining two are NATO off. or something? I don't Dipl- know. The UN. Oh. Is that better? Yeah. But what I think I there's like an alter you said NATO. UN and NATO are different. Yeah, they're different. How so? I think diplomatically they're different. And country what involvement they're different. Google, what is the difference between UN and NATO? NATO and the UN are two organizations trying to work together, despite the fact that they have very different philosophies. Okay, I guess they're very different. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> That's Never it mind. For politics for the week. Back to toys. I guess that's everybody. Politics. Back to toys. Um, hey, uh, Nacelle had a hot, hot off the heels of their very successful Kickstarter for The yeah. Expanse. They put out a photo of their next uh, retro line. This time they're doing Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. Hey. Excited for this? Was that, was that a Kenner property? I, I was I was messing oh, them all up a couple I weeks ago. I think so. I said it was Playmates I want to say I Mattel. I want to oh. say Mattel. Let's find out. I'm going to type in Mattel. No, because, right. because Emily from... Hasbro was going through the archives. And she saw Moose Mesa? Yeah, I thought so. But is that Kenner oh. or Hasbro at that point? That was Kenner, I thought. Kenner. After she ignored my request to go as a podcast. Uh, 
Yeah, what's the deal, Emily? You don't want to be on. I don't know. You don't want to be on this very professional podcast where all the is this? What is this? I'm looking at. These are un. This is like unproduced Happy Meal toys for Moo Mesa or something. I don't know. Oh, I ever watch Cowboys of Moo Mesa? No, I never did. It was a show. It was a show. So, oh, you never watched it. I was gonna say, what is the? No. What's the story here? It's just an alternate alternate universe where cows are anthropomorphic are other animals anthropomorphic it's just cows because that's pretty Let's messed up see. cowboys of moo mesa and cowboys is it's um, an acronym what is it's it an acronym for? yes what does it stand for i don't i don't even know let's, that let's, let's just look up the wikipedia, wikipedia. wikipedia. Yes. Yeah. Green make green me read green. god Animated. damn it Plot cowboys dealt with a mutation of code of the west. Comets. The cow like, part is short for code of the west. Everything trapped on top of Mesa was cowmatized by the light of the cow met and evolved into bovipomorphic. <laughs> Who wrote this wiki? Who wrote this? <laughs> they had too much fun. Get out of here. Bovipomorphic. Bovipomorphic. Bova for and then that, so they all evolved into Bova these Bova? they they all evolved into these and then they they took um who evolved took, though the cows or the people of surnames all cows? that were all cow related so wait did the people turn into cows or was it something else well that's the thing i don't understand and then like did time go by or like are there dead bodies everywhere there is <laughs> there is literally a ca- with their life there is literally a character in this cartoon named calamity kate cudster now that that's, was not her human lot. name, if that's the case. That's Lily Bovine, Cody Calf. I just want to okay, know. Okay, there the are toys. a couple. A couple of characters. One looks like a vulture, so they're not all just cows. Yeah. So they're just animals, and they just happen to have a lot of cows. Oh, the females are like too human, <laughs> too human esque. Yeah. Like the only. Oh, they the, were released like, by. They were released by Hasbro. Okay, so Hasbro. Oh, this guy's a scorpion. The other guy's a scorpion. He's little. Oh that's my cute. gosh, oh. that's adorable. So, oh, there's like they were... a comic, and the, there's a bat. Oh, and he's wearing a little like banker's outfit. These are great. Wow. So Nacelle is making toys of these. Yeah, and we'll buy them or not. I did not have any of these toys. They look fine. Neither I did know. I. They weren't exciting. To me, because I was probably like, "This is stupid." Batman, <laughs> Power Rangers. No, you moved on. That's what it is. You moved on. <laughs> They're cute though. Moved I don't know. On. I could see you, these. You had could, moved, I moved on. I moved on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Moved. You graduated like, from moved. Bovine University at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the carding uh, is throwback because the carding is pretty nice. Actually, I like that. That holds up. So we saw a picture of one of the characters. He's red. What's that big red thing? He's a big red guy. What's his name? Yeah. Sheriff Terrible. Terrible. Get it? All Is he a name. bad guy? What? He's a sheriff. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know. Do you think sheriff? if we got mutated that we would have enough self-awareness to make our names puns to whatever we were mutated to? Do you think we'd be okay with that? What would you be mutated into? I think it's like whatever you're around. It's yeah. Like if, you know, Splinter became a rat in one what would you, iteration what of What would that. you prefer to be? What would you prefer to be around? Oh, like, what would I want to mutate into? Like, what would your preferred animal be? Oh, you know what? I was watching this video last night that my wife sent me of kangaroos. Yeah. And those things are terrifying. They get jacked up. Jesus no, like, Christ. Christ in your face so yeah I, I think I that they really undersold that TMNT character that was a kangaroo like he was way too small he was small but he did have he did have a uh, knee articulation that's true he did have knee articulation that was walkabout walkabout yeah. was his name and the way kangaroos so. move they can hop obviously but they don't they can't yeah. walk they have to do use their front feet so they become right you know, it's like someone said it looked like a jacked up deer and like I could see it. The head is very deer. You know, that's the thing. It's funny. I just watched a TikTok where 
a deer ran across the road and the kid yeah. literally goes, look at that kangaroo. No, uh, I guess a lot of people say it. no. <laughs> honest to they, God, yeah. I'm gonna find it. It's on. That's it's funny. on my TikTok history. <laughs> Look at that I will kangaroo. find it. I'll send it to you. Look at that kangaroo. <laughs> were they in Australia? Like you just think there's kangaroos? I don't think so. Around? They were in the U.S. They're in the U.S. The, with deer. The crazy thing about how you know the world formed and animals evolved, like Australia was really separated from the rest of the continents, and animals just are different there. They're just different. They are. They it's are. it's a whole other ecosystem. We got scary looking everything. I feel like if if I was to mutate, it would have to be preferably a shark or maybe Ooh. an alligator. I think that would. So be, you want the water based critters? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I saw some alligators today, but they were babies because I was at oh, Sea nice. World. Did you get to hold them? No, I don't well, know. That living then. You can't listen. SeaWorld is not putting people anywhere near these animals anymore. That no, that's they're too actually bad. they are phasing out animals. I don't know if you know. Oh, it's like SeaWorld. it's like it's like the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey yes. Circus, where it's yes. just Ringling Brothers. And it's like shadow people of flying around. Yeah, oh, exactly. Gosh, no. Right. It's becoming Cirque, Cirque du Soleil or whatever. How you pronounce that? Oh. Yeah. So, uh, so SeaWorld's just becoming like roller coasters, which I do I do not care for those. So it's, uh, it's probably yeah. not going anymore. Um, but the kids love it. My mom is a huge super fan of SeaWorld when she's down. We always have to go. She she has a photo from when she was younger of getting kissed by Shamu, which is not a thing that can happen anymore. <laughs> not, no. Definitely not allowed <laughs> anymore. So we were, we were walking around today. And the, the, something that SeaWorld has that Disney does not really have are these carnival games. And Universal does. Don't forget Dino these. World. Well, that's they, but Dino World's going away, so I don't Thank know. God. If, I don't know if it's still operating or what they're doing there, but yeah. So uh-huh. there, I mean, there yeah. are some carnival games, there but are. SeaWorld has carnival games, and I historically am pretty good at carnival games. If you recall, back in our youth, we went to yes. Whalem Park, and the we game did. where you you have like the 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 barrel or like the bin, and you have to yeah, throw the apple, ball and keep an it in. Barrel. It was an apple, apple yeah. barrel. Yep. The and I won. It's tilted. I did one. It won that yeah. big damn tiger. Ban big damn white tiger. And it's yep. so funny. The quality of the carnival prizes have has not has not improved as time has no. gone on. Because even though they're huge, they're filled with little styrofoam pelts, and they are not oh, no not good as like stuffed the animals at all. Oh, <laughs> they're just the worst. Could you imagine that thing. That thing exploding in your house. Right, yeah, Just like the fan air, blows it all around. They, they all get, they all get like static electricity. They cling to everything. Oh no, it's terrifying! I didn't realize that thing was filled with those. Yeah, so that we have one because oh, no. it sprung a leak. We got, I, I won. I did oh, the already? basketball game. Well, here's what happened: the I did the basketball game, and I know that the basket is like squished so you can't like throw it like a normal. You got to either you got to get it straight down or you got to hit off the backboard. So I threw yeah. it, it bounced off the very back, went straight up, and went straight down without hitting the rim. First try, I won this nice. giant, it was like giant dogs, so I let the kid yeah. pick his favorite dog. We started walking around, and like it was like snowing. All the little things were coming out. I was like, <laughs> damn it. So thankfully, we were able to bring it back, and they were like, here, here's another one. So oh, now we good. have it. It's, it's over here to my right off some video up of it. It's very large. It was a, a real pain in the ass carrying it around the park. <laughs> not, oh. not fun at all. But everyone was like, ooh, that's so big. Where'd you get that? So I did feel like sort of a rock star for a little bit. There. You're like, I won that. It's a major award. You had, your, major you, had your award. Story. you had your Christmas story moment. So I sent you a photo of it and like, yeah, now you got the high. Now you got the gambling high. Right. And I was well, like, I thought nah. your kid won it too. I thought your kid no, won he it. Didn't. So, no, he so. couldn't get that basketball over the thing. Um, yeah. But I did the thing where you pay. So it's like $5 for one shot or $10 for three. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, let me give myself a fighting chance. So I, I did the three, but I got it in the first try. So you, I had like two leftover tries and the ladies like people can only one people can only win once per day, but you can let somebody else take your other chances i was like oh. all right so i let my wife do one and she actually got pretty close and then my son did it he couldn't even get it over the thing and i was like all right oh no <laughs> <laughs> so then um well i sent you a photo of that and you're like oh you're yes. now you have to chase that high and i was like yep. nah 
But then we saw people walking around with these giant bananas. And okay. some of them had like a little husky dog sticking his head out. Like it was a husky dressed as a banana. And yeah. I was like, I need that. Need that. So we finally found it. And it was the game that I won the white tiger in the apple barrel. You got to throw it in. So I was like, mm-hmm. I got this. No problem. So you, you have to get two in in a row. So each game is two throws and you have to get both. Wow. So first throw I miss. I was like, damn it. So then the second throw was just for practice because it didn't count. So I did like the basketball throw and it yeah. worked. And I was like, yes, I got this. No problem. But then the, I missed all the next ones. I missed every single one. It didn't work. Oh. I couldn't figure out exactly how far to push it. So right. I did another round. <laughs> but the kid, he wants to try. And I'm like, do you want to win? Because there's no way you're doing this. But then like to my <laughs> to my right... A family with a little girl did it, and the little girl did it, and she won. So I was like, all right, maybe there's a chance. So I let the kid throw it. He freaking throws it as hard as he can and bounces right out. I was like, you do not understand how this game works. Like, you don't get it. So I I bought three. I let him try two, and I'm like, let me do it. And of course, I missed immediately. And so no, oh. no giant banana, but I did get we did get oh. the giant dog. So I feel like that there was the better go. prize. Yeah, that's good. Yes. No. I. Uh, I don't normally buy scratch tickets for whatever reason. Oh. I was feeling lucky. I was feeling lucky tonight. I don't know why. Yeah. So yeah. I got a Powerball because the 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 jackpot yeah. is billion quite dollars. large. Billion and dollars. I, I had put twenty dollars in the machine, Ooh. and and then I picked five tickets, five and tickets. the first ticket, a nice yeah. little cheap two dollar ticket, paid yeah. for everything. <gasps> so I got my twenty dollars back. I I won hey. thirty off of that one. Ooh, got my twenty husband. back. Yeah. yeah. And then scratch the last one, fifty bucks. Yep. I got eighty bucks hey, back. I was, I was like, yeah, that. I'm up. I was up. I was happy. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you, if we, okay, let's say you win the billion dollars. Oh my. <laughs> let's say you win the billion. How much are you gonna give me? Enough. A million. We'll get you back up here. I'll, I'll, I'll settle you. We'll, we'll. Build I want a this on the record. I want. <laughs> I would give you a million dollars. I'd probably if give I you had a because what is it? What is a billion? How many millions are in a billion? A thousand million? No, because no, that's a hundred yeah. million. Yeah, that's a thousand a, millions. A thousand yeah. millions. So you have a thousand yeah. millions to give away, <laughs> or I like would. to play with. I would give you a, a million dollars. Yeah, I'd probably. But give I would you make it like dollars. its salary, so I could write it off on on my taxes. Yeah, I'd probably put like, it in a trust for you, so you could withdraw. There from you it. go. That's yeah. good. Yeah. No, I needed. I need it all immediately, though. <laughs> I need it all immediately. I, I need. I just need it. I just need it yesterday. We can make that happen. All right, it's on record now. That's very good. That's good. What yeah. else happened this week? I feel like there was more. There's oh, always more. So I, I, I was in a different area of. Uh, oh yes. The state for work, and I was like, oh, there's a there's a Ross over here. I'm gonna check that out, and uh, let's just say economically, not like the best area around um like is it clear what i'm saying <laughs> it's not yeah no, I not get, like yeah. lots of mansions in this area like a little oh. bit below the poverty line um oh, you're getting but really apparently saying something apparently this is where you want to go if you're looking for stuff at stores because ross vibe below there was a dd's discount which i'd never been before i didn't, I didn't think we had those and there was an mm-hmm. Ollie's. There was an Ollie's I'd never been to. And they were all stacked. They had tons of product. Wow. Yeah. From did that you, Ross, you, I actually... Did you get anything? I actually bought something. I, I I don't know that I've seen these before, but there were these things called Apex Legends from Jax. Ooh. And they're like Black Series, you know, G.I. Joe, like those kind of figures, like yeah. Fortnite. But they were $3. Wow. So I was like, I'm gonna buy the whole friggin' set. So here's this this person. Apex Legends. I was like, I'm sure this is another video game that like didn't do well. But like uh-huh. there were like five figures. So five times three, what was that fifteen? So that for less 15. than the cost of like a real figure, I got a whole set. <laughs> and they're like well articulated. I'm gonna open up and do a review because I wanna be like, this is this is how you make your money go further. 
I'm probably like, look at this guy can has money for toys. Oh, we can't even buy food in these parts. The cash. Well, I don't know why they have that accent, but the cashier <laughs> was like, "Did you leave any for me?" <laughs> and I, oh, and I was like, "I was like, there's a couple. There's not the full set, but they're for me now." Did you leave, did you leave any for me? I know. Why? I was like, why do people in? Why do people? in in retail insist on being that way <laughs> like <laughs> i mean you're there all day you gotta think you gotta i mean there's only so many things uh, you can say to customers without what happened what arrested. happened what happened today when we were doing the thing at home depot i'm carrying the things out because they're covered in paint and i've got them so the kids don't because the kids like dress up so they they aren't sure. thankfully in paint i'm walking out the home depot guy looks at me looks at the kids then looks at the art project and he goes next time let them do it just like ah, oh, sick burn Lord. from him. I know. It's like <laughs> got me so quickly. Thing. I was like, I know, right? <laughs> oh. It's it's like the jokes about when the waiter comes and your food's all gone, and he's like, "How'd you yeah. like it?" It's like I hated it. <laughs> like the dad show no kind good. of thing. <laughs> it's like, but it's a, that's like the extent of what you can say to customers without anyone being. Like, I'm sure someone was probably ins- like, "You sound like you were insulted by that." It's like that they can't even no, say anything to you. <laughs> They can't say anything. A lot of people can't say anything to me. No, I take it all the wrong no. way. No, yeah, I take it the wrong way. <laughs> all right, I feel like that's no, good. Was anything good else laugh. with this? Yeah. Anything else with this big I week? I can't think of anything. That's no. enough. That's enough, right? It's enough. We had a big week that's last plenty. week. Big week this week. It's WrestleMania. It's... I gotta hop on there and see if anybody's still fighting. All right, about it. Well, you know what we say. We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.